Hi, and you're very welcome. To, and today you're here with um, Anne Wodge of the Excel Expert. And what we're going to look at specifically today is multiplication. So just if you like, a, just a basic exercise in multiplication. Okay. Now the first thing just to notice is here I have my numbers set up. Okay, I have my list here: fruit, their price, quantity, their the price, and uh, listing of the numbers. And where I'm going to be entering my formulas in here in the total. Now just before I begin that, I'm just going to add some quick formatting to my price. So I do that by highlighting it and then I go up here to my little number bar up here on the home tab and I can choose my euro currency from here which it will automatically apply euro currency and it's much wiser to actually use that rather than typing in the euro symbol or um, other symbol yourself whatever currency symbol you're using yourself just add it okay so as always we're going to begin just by setting up our formula here First step, I click where I want the answer to go for the first one, which is here. Next step is that I put in equals. That tells Excel that what is going to enter is going to be a formula. And then I just click over here on the 10. What appears in the cell is the cell reference, which is B4. And then I'm just going to enter multiply. Now what you use for using multiply is a little star symbol, which you can get by pressing shift and H on your keyboard. I'll just press shift as well. Gives you a little star symbol. And then I click on the quantity and then just the cell reference comes up. Now one of the reasons that's important is because later on if you want to actually change any of those numbers, the price or the quantity, doing it this way means all you have to do is change the numbers and the formula will be updated automatically. So I click here and just to copy it down I can either bring my mouse over to the bottom right hand corner, a little black cross, and drag it down. I see there it does the formatting automatically for me. The other way, which is a little trick, is if I bring my mouse onto the bottom right hand little black corner here, which is called the fill handle, double click on it, that copies it down as well, which is very useful if you have a lot of numbers to copy down. And I'm also just going to format this to currency as well. So I just click up here on the home tab, click my currency tab, and it converts it to that one. Um, I hope you found this um, blog entry useful. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to download the 25 great shortcuts which are going to be on the right of where you're looking at the moment. All right. Take care and goodbye. Slán.